Oh, we're gonna go big camera. I don't know how unhinged I look right now. I've been getting like increasingly more unhinged. I've I've looked worse. I had to do, I gotta do something. I gotta use a hair product. Look fine. Time to get out the dome. You mean the uh, the Floby? I actually I need the Floby. I actually really do. The sides here. It's getting. My, my my fingernails are getting kind of long. My fingernail, my beard, everything's like. <laughs> Jen hasn't said anything yet, but I'm not gonna wait for her to say something. <laughs> no, I was. I'm sorry, I'm late. There was my father-in-law needing my help with um his cable. I couldn't help him. I tried to, I told him, I, I said like, I know what you need to do, but I can't explain to you the exact process you need to do that. Your TV and cable box need to be on at the same time and you need to be on the right input. They were over at his house yesterday. Someone turned off the TV in the incorrect way and now it's all screwed up. And this is not the first time this has happened. I swear to God, do they use a universal remote? They have, the TV is like a, um, it's like a Roku TV. It's got a little, it's got a little Roku remote. Uh, and then you've got the bot, the, the, the remote for the, the, the cable box. But the cable box t remote will also turn on the TV. And that's, that's when everything starts to go wrong because if it were just a remote for the cable, then it wouldn't be that big of a deal because you just push the power button on that remote and it, only the cable would turn on. But you push the button on the remote and it'll either turn the TV on or it'll turn the TV off. And so it's just like, it's like the sun and the moon, man. <laughs> like, as soon as you see one, the other one's gone. And so he's just like, you know, he's pushing the button. Uh, and I like, I know what you got to do. And I'm like, I think there's a button on the cable box that you could push. That turns it on. That turns the cable box on. The, what, that, doesn't, that doesn't bother me. If he made a mistake, it would be fine. But there was like one, two, three, four adults visiting yesterday. I didn't go. Don't judge me. I've been going the last couple of weeks. I didn't feel like going. I, I sat at home and I was playing around with my mini PC. Yeah, it's mini. All right. It's real tiny. So one of them was messing with the TV and they turned it off wrong. And they broke it. And now he's calling me. It's like, bro, I wasn't even over there. I know I can fix it, but I got nothing to do with it. Why are you calling me? I know I'm an internet clown, but I got to go online. I have stuff I got to do. He doesn't trust them? Yeah, I would get it fixed immediately. Within five minutes, it would be on. Show the micro PC. It's all plugged in upstairs. Oh, it's great. Oh, the foundation has been laid perfectly. I got a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, both extra, with the wireless uh, keyboard pad, not even for this mini PC. I was trying to get some wireless stuff set up for another TV I have down here. And now that I set up this mini PC upstairs, oh, it's great. Oh, it's wonderful. I've never been happier. It works wonderfully. It goes to the sound system. I got the speakers. I got the subwoofer, no lag or anything. It's, I'm, you're going to see that PC. I'm thinking when I go to Japan, like it's, it's going to be great. Like we might, I could show you the box it came in.
More fine! Mini PC! This is it. This is it fits in it fits in this thing. It's like the size it's not even the size of my head. Hello, rat streamer, that's me. You can name the PC whatever you want. I can't stop you. It's great. It, it'll fit like in the front of your hoodie if it's not like a zip hoodie. A lot of things that are, it's <laughs> you'll you, Noxella will see it. Okay, he'll he'll measure it and show it to you. But so here's the surprising thing. So I got this thing fully under the impression that I needed to use an external GPU with it. And mind you, if I'm playing Wild Hearts, like that game barely runs. But everything else is working great. World's running good. Rise is running good. For you is running good. It's all running fine. No external GPU. So, there we go. With OBS, OBS was running with for you, locked 60. There was a little bit of stuttering the first cutscene, as I think it was like generating shaders or something, cash, whatever that is. It ran, it ran fine while streaming. Silent. Completely silent. Made no noise. The fan didn't even spit up. It was wonderful. I am not shilling for this, by the way. This is a very niche product for a very special circumstance. I mean, that being said, I mean, it's... I mean, it's it's pretty affordable. I mean, it's like, what, $500? Something like that. I mean, that's like the price of a graphics card now, right? Not even. Graphics card's like $800. You want to get a... Is it a 4070 Ti? I would say... Uh, the graphics performance is roughly on par with like... Like a 1660? Maybe something like that. Around there. It's not amazing. It's not bad. It's good enough. It's good enough for 1080p or 720p with FSR. That's what I'm using on the uh, on World, which I know sounds crazy, but 720p FSR basically looks like 1080p, and it gets like 90 to 100 FPS. And the thing's it's tiny. It only uses 100 watts. I'm excited. See, I, I've been I've been having fun with that thing on that TV, man. I was testing all sorts of things, but yeah, four U's running great. Oh, so what I was thinking is, like, you you guys ever hear the story about that one really bad McDonald's? Um, like a guy was bringing like a desktop computer there, setting it up and watching pornography inside the McDonald's. I'm not saying I'm gonna watch pornography. Hold on. Let's start over. Uh, we could bring the computer with us into public and like stream in public in Japan and like have like games and stuff. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> It'd be a really good time. The only thing that's not going to work unless like they dramatically fix it, like this game is not going to work. So I was originally thinking... I would need to bring an external GPU, but instead, uh, we might just bring like the Xbox. No, 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 no. Pippinitis, you're thinking, you're thinking tiny brain. Big brain isn't show them for you and say, do you know this game? It's to set up multiple instances of for you and play with people live on the streets. I've got I've got some really big brain ideas. That'd be a great time. I don't know that kanji. I don't know what that means. Hentai, hentai, hentai. Okay, I know what that means now. <laughs> okay. Hope I don't get mugged? I'm not really worried about getting mugged in Japan. I don't think it's very likely. You gotta go looking for trouble. 
in any other city in the United States, I'd be real worried. But Japan? I'm not worried. I mean, even still, absolute worst case scenario. What is it? Is it a $600 device? You always go looking for trouble? I'll get mugged by high schoolers. They give me a wedgie and run away with all my controllers laughing at me. I don't think I'd be able to set up for you on the train. I was thinking I need like a, like an enclosure or something to get under. I just think we could, we could have a really fun time with it because it's, again, like it's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to play latest, greatest games at 1080p at high settings, but we'll be able to play almost anything that gets released while I'm over there at good enough settings. It's fine. You're watching it on Twitch and anything. Everything's compressed to hell and back. I think we want to go this way. We're going to go down this way. And we're going to go this way. This seems like, like mega ass. This is about the Steam Deck? No. It's about my mini PC. Which is definitely more powerful than the Steam Deck. That's four points right there. You'll get some really, really exclusives in Japan. Yeah. Killing 300 kimono is tough. I mean, if like you set out to do it. Total cost? I think the PC itself is 580. I kind of splurged on the memory and the uh, storage. So 580 plus 367 for everything. That's 32 gigs of RAM and a two terabyte um, NVMe drive at, it was like whatever the fastest speed was. So under a thousand OS, $10 from some shady website. <laughs> Will you make matching shirts to wear with Noxella listing my Monster Hunter accomplishments? Can you explain to me what matching accomplishments Noxella and I have in Monster Hunter together? I guess the Monster Hunter podcast. How do you get Monster Hunter for you on PC? Check the Boomer channel. Noxella is like really good at Monster Hunter. Just don't like he just gets a little performance anxiety. <laughs> I mean, and who who among us does not get performance anxiety, right? How's Wild Hearts been going? It's all right. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to make another weapon. Not me? I mean, I am above average. I, I never claim to be the best in the world. The fact that I ever won a championship and even got second, I don't think says a lot for me. I think it says a lot for the people that talk a big game and never show up. <laughs> I'm pretty good at speed running. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at the full game speed run. I'm good at that. I'm, I'm good specifically at Monster Hunter World speed running. With weapons that I've practiced with. Which is almost everything. I'm lucky Kanta wasn't there? On an average day, I would say... I Kanta definitely puts in the work and he'll get much better runs than me in TAs. But I don't... I don't think we're, like, in a completely different league. And it all depends on how you do live. You watch the Team Dark Side runs live. And... Th 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 that's practice. <laughs> they said a hunt took them an hour? One hunt took me an hour. You've had no trouble or stress hunting with me? Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I entertaining is more important than anything else. <laughs> Stop. Well, I wish you a happy birthday. It's happy birthday right now, right? Okay, happy birthday. Am I dumb? 
That's the world speedruns are so enjoyable to watch. I mean, we just did a bunch recently. Well, you were being a funny little guy because you were using an ice cannon against an ice monster. Is it a one-shot take hunt? This is a uh, low-rank hunt. I need a low rank uh, part from him. I think I need his ivory. I mean, look, I would much rather go on a hunt with a guy with an ice cannon. <laughs> I'd rather go with a fire cannon with an ice cannon than somebody that's going to go with a fire cannon and just die anyways. Just, I mean, just don't be the last one to cart, right? So I did play a little bit of Octopath Traveler 2. It definitely seems better than Octopath Traveler 1. But, and like, maybe I'll make a review for it. But the, the my issue is, is like, so I, all right, let's 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 go to a boomer game that nobody's played. Final Fantasy VI. When you are introduced characters in Final Fantasy VI, you're introduced normally in Medius Rays to them, and so like you're experiencing their story as they're experiencing it. But with Octopath Traveler, like you are almost exclusively required to go if you want to know their story. Like you got to sit down and like spend like an hour. Finding out, like, why they care about anything. And it just, like, really slows the pacing down. Because, like, you could spend eight hours and you spent the last eight hours enjoying the combat and experience and mechanics of the game as, like, a level one character. Now, usually by eight hours in a video game, like, you're, you're getting into the weeds. Any tips on Tiger? The tooltips say you should use the Celestial Cannon. I I'd say uh, Harpoons and the Spike Traps are still probably better. I was tainted by a better game. I mean... I don't know. I'm a little contradictory. On one hand, I don't like it when people flat out... Uh, insult the story of hunting games. But on the other hand, I will agree that... The best story in any video game is usually only on par with mediocre to bad storylines of other media. I'm, that's obviously their exceptions. But for the most part, I don't go to video games for the story. I go for the mechanics. And it's just like eight hours of just being in like in baby prologue mechanics in Octopath Traveler 2 is a lot to ask of me. Now, mind you, I don't have to do that. I could just keep skipping everyone's story forever and just like try and figure it out but i'm pretty sure you're gonna get into other stuff later on you're gonna be meeting people like who the hell are you like all right there's like the uh fighter samurai guy i don't want to i don't want to spoil anything but it's literally his prologue you get in a fight with someone and they're gonna be like your adversary and if you were just to start playing his story you'd be like who is this guy So you kind of got to play it because when you meet him, he's just fighting some random soldiers. You don't know who the soldiers are. You don't know what's going on. So you got to spend your one to two hours going through everything, reading everything. It's like pain in my ass, man. It's not a bad game. It's just, you know, doesn't matter who he is. I mean, if you care about the story, I mean, I care a little bit. Do I care a lot? No. But, I mean, enough. Enough. It's so here's the problem. I care enough that I want to know it, but I don't care enough that I want to play it. Does that make any sense? <laughs> no. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can explain this in some way. Okay. I want to engage 
in all of the mechanics and grinding in Endgame of Rise. However, I hate the process of going through Afflicted Rank. How's that? How does that sound, huh? It's roughly now. Games are supposed to be played. Yeah, but it's like, it's just like so boring. <laughs> it's so slow. Even though I have no idea what Afflicted Rank is. Imagine if the time it took for you to get level 20 in Dauntless took five times as long. But every time you went up a level, say instead of 20 levels, is 100 levels, every level you went up by one raw. If grinding error is boring, does it mean rise is boring? No, it's not. It's not like all in. It's just one, one aspect of it is just like not very respectful of our time. Here's what I want. I either want... In Dr. Path Traveler 2, I want them to either make the story something that happens with you, with the other characters, as you get stronger. Or, I want them to take the two hours and just like... Like, smash it together. And just make that... Like, and then, like, you get it in, like, five minutes. Like, this is who this person is. They have a conflict with this person. This is what they do. Like, don't make me fight the boss. Don't make me fight too many bosses. I don't care. I'm level one. Nothing matters. I'm going to win anyways. And then, to encourage replayability, if you want the full prologue, then make it when you replay the game. You get the full prologue. What is Octopath Traveler? It's an RPG. A, a, a Japanese RPG. It's okay. It is an okay RPG. You could buy it and spend your time playing it. And you would have an okay time. I've died on a level one character before. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing with you. Really? Do I feel obligated because free key? Absolutely not. You've heard me say that before. I'm not laughing at you. I don't 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 make me laugh. Yeah, I got I got a review key for Octopath Traveler 2. I'll I'll still I might end up making a review on it. I just really don't want to play. It's not that I don't want to play it. It's I'd rather play something else. I'm impressed you got it, uh, Square Enix key. So Square Enix is different than Capcom in that they release like a million games constantly. And so when they have a million different teams working on sending out keys to things, um, you know, I might actually get a key. Like a refrain video? The mechanics are way better in that than they were in um, Undernauts. Undernauts. Undernauts, the art style was so good and like the game was just like, it wasn't bad. I, I actually played it, beat it, and I almost got like, it was on the Switch, so there's no platinum, but like, the game percentage told me I was, like, at 98 or 99%. You rage quit on or not? Was it that one area with, like, the, the, the pitfall tiles? I was close. I went on the internet to try and find a guide to that map, and there wasn't one. And I was so mad that I just, like, rage played through it until I finally finished it. Now, Jillian Carter is a really good reviewer of video games. Now, you can trust him. He knows what he's talking about. Now, it was really bad. It was bad because, like, the game would give you these clues on, like, how to not 
fall through the traps and then like it was like meaningless i don't know if it was like lost in translation but it didn't help at all is that that office rug like game that was going under Hammer and Biako set? Actually, well, I mean, you can build whatever the hell you want, but there's, um, the Tusk guy gives you armor that gives you impact plus. No, there, I mean, the funny thing is like, when I went to find the map on the internet, it wasn't even there. I was ready to give up. I was ready. I was gonna do it. Because it's like you would, you'd be walking through this, this blank map and you would fall down a hole. There was no way to know whether or not there was going to be a hole or not. And it would drop you into the basement. It said you had to go up to the basement. You had to go up to the second floor. You probably had like 10 random encounters on the way there to get up to discovered another tile that you're trying to walk through also has a hole in it. When's Mary Skelter? It looks too anime for me. Edgy. I, li I like this refrain game. The mall and wild hearts, so strong. I'm getting a lot of networkers. Are we talking about greats? Are we talking about the Nodachi in this game? I got a no dachi build. It's okay. What's the best way to break Golden Tempest Claws with bow? Probably just shoot him, right? Am I playing the new refrain? I'm playing the old refrain. I'm not playing the new one. I'm playing the old one. You know, deepest lore. But I probably will play the new one. Because I'm, I'm kind of enjoying what I see. Do you have any child characters? Yeah, I'm not into that. No. I don't care if it's, like, cute. I don't care. It's somebody to take that out of context and put me in a takedown video. <laughs> Large scale. Okay. Nikkei has enough. <laughs> All right. Just because you're right doesn't mean you have to say it. We need a large scale. I know where these guys are. You play the Etchin Odyssey remakes? I'm thinking about it. I might I might skip the first one though. Cause the first one, like, I've tried to play it a bunch of times, and every time I try to play it, I get stuck in this loop where like I want to get all of like the for sale and resource items. And so like I make a team of like, what is it, five or six of those like resource gatherers. And I just spend hours just gathering resources rather than just playing the game. <laughs> and then I get burnt out doing it. And uh, then I stop playing it. But may maybe it's better in Etrian Odyssey 2. I mean, people talk very highly over Etrian Odyssey 3. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a me problem. I, I know it's not a game problem. Like, I don't need to do that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't play much of Etrian Odyssey outside of the first one. I might have played Persona Q at one point. And I didn't... You know, I mean, I think that was at a time when I was, like, at peak. Just, like, really burnt out on all the Persona 4 <laughs> side games. That's a me problem. They didn't they never stopped making them. Even Persona 5 is a Persona 4 side game. Persona 5 that is.
Dancing all night on stream? Why do you, you always ask, what do you want to see? Do you want to see the dances? Do you want to see if I'm good at doing the dances? Do you want to see if I get hit by copyright for the dances? What is it that you want? All of those. Okay. I have a Vita TV somewhere. There's probably an easier way to play it than the Vita TV at this point. They're probably on console or something, right? Uh, we're, I'm trying to make a umbrella with a massive amount of iframes. Hotel just dance stream? I'm not staying in a hotel. I'm in a B and B for both of them. An actual apartment. I wanted to make sure I had a couch. So we're gonna have a couch in Osaka. Crutch Mary Poppins build? Uh, I mean, it's got to be the equivalent of like evasion plus three. There's only one couch. I know. I'm really slumming it. But what are you going to do? I mean, there's some other abilities on the umbrella that might be good, but just being able to, like, really help solidify your parry seems pretty good to me. And the real question is, are we going to have enough money for this thing? Probably not. Did I like the well long demo? I did. I almost thought about playing it at the start of today's stream. Like, I thought about it. And yeah, well long's pretty good. I think it's Friday. I mean, you never... Time zones, right? Weapon trees have similarities like you would expect in Monster Hunter, but they're not always exactly the same. I guess we'll go this way, actually. We don't need to upgrade those. We can go... We can skip straight down. I think we'll go this way. Amaterasu dies so quickly. Dodge Master? I don't know why it's called that. That's already at 70% on that one specifically. Let's see how much easier that is. Let's also see how often auto parry works. It's got a lot, lot longer to go, but this is a start. 
Remember when Sunbird used to anus me? Um, there was a there was like one day on one quest that we were having some challenges, I guess. Not anymore. Do I run human or kimono path buffs? Depending on build. Some builds, I like Bob the Builder. In general, I prefer Bob the Builder. Does the instinct parry skill and talisman stack? If it's anything like any of the other skills that have a name like that, the answer is no. Bob the Builder skill does not stack. Any interest in speedrunning this game? I've thought about it. I have. I would probably end up doing it on an Xbox for it to be the most stable. Just depends. It, it always depends on what's coming out and what's available. Like, Wolong Long is coming out this Friday, right? So, I'm definitely going to want to be playing that. But, you know, if there's nothing else after Wolong Long and Wolong, Long, we don't want to speedrun Wolong Long instead, hell yeah, I'd, I'd consider it. It's three out of three, no block. Four out of three, no block. Five out of three, no block. Six out of three, no block. What's my favorite weapon? The lance. Seven out of three, no... Seven out of seven, no block. Eight. One out of eight. I mean, that's not nothing. That seems a little bit better. Oh, wow. That seems generous. Okay. You still need to time it a little bit. I've heard the parry, like even neutral parry into attack is very strong. Someone has also said the spring attack is very good. Looks okay. Man, you go far though. <laughs> Whoa! You go so far. Is there two attacks out of that or is it just the one? Dodge spamming light attack is good. Kind of takes you into the air. Neutral parry into X. Full gauge is strong. That's a cool attack. Is that only with full gauge? When you catch the umbrella, you can go into a trigger and attack and loop it. Go like that. How forgiving is the parry window? With no skills that boost it? Not very generous. It's not much better than normal iframes. How about other things? What armor set am I using? This isn't even, I, I, I don't have anything tuned for this. The only thing you might be seeing right now is Verve.
How's the torch? Not bad. Copter attack? I just hate the copter, man. That's really not bad damage for how quick that is. Early end game damage? I feel like it, de it depends on your weapon. If your weapon needs a lot of stamina, Kimono Path is better. If your weapon doesn't need stamina, Human Path is better. And even then, like some, some weapons manage their stamina really easy. Like no Dachi, you're fine with just using springs and stuff. He'd be cheating on Monster Hunter if he did. I feel like that's the majority of Reddit. They've got like these we this weird thing in their brain where like, I can't play this game because I like Monster Hunter. So say the monster is never attacked. Is it spring is the best way to go? I didn't play Dauntless for a more petty reason. I was directly insulted. I got literally hooed by the Dauntless team. And you know what? Check this out. I got my apology. So how about that? They said we're sorry. You're the YouTube premium sister in law in that situation? Whoa! Hold on. No, 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 not even close. I, I, how, how would it even compare? How would it even compare? I would need to what? The Dauntless party would have had to send me invitations for months. And I would have to tell them that I'm never going. Only for me to show up the day of the party, ask if I can go, and they'd say, sorry, we're full, but we try to invite you. Not even, not even remotely close. This was an event that they were having that they announced at the event for people to attend. Your sister-in-law didn't eat two day old donuts in the dark. She's had to watch the YouTube, uh, those YouTube ads, which, you know, arguably is worse. That's very generous. We're not even, we're not even there all the way. All right. So we got to fight the dragon. Should we fight the dragon with this thing? All right. Fine. Can you charge greatsword media with just, without just standing around? When you attack the monster, it charges it. This is technically... No, that's piercing. Interesting. I should have been compensated for emotional damages. I never asked for anything like that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Do I have any other arms I could make that might be okay?
Maybe the Garuda gl gloves might be okay anyways. Every day, Twitch chat inflicts emotional damage. Some organized at E3 for Dauntless can't compare. Now, they lived in my head rent-free for a very long time. I mean, with Twitch chat, like, I can have my own justice. Like, I can just time someone out for a week or ban them. And it's like, that's been resolved. I think that's, I think I'm just going to use these. They're not great, but... Oh, that takes me out. Do they have a human path? Can't do it. All right, I, if I want to, I need to... That was my day. All right, I guess. I think I did okay on my Japanese quiz. We have one every day. I hate the way this looks, though. <laughs> hate it so much. I think I got to I think I got to go this way. All right, we'll we'll stick with instinct parry. You never know when that's going to go off. Most armor skills in this game seem garbage. No, that's about right. When was the last time you updated AHR at the little headless girl? I don't know how to explain it yet. Spoilers. It's been a while. I'm at the second to last one. Is there a layered arm in this game? There is. It's called cladding in this game. Oh, we're going to use that. All right, we'll start with this. We, we might end up changing it later, but this is it's acceptable for right now. You like uh, Desperation? I mean, Verve works out similarly. In terms of total damage. Sometimes it's easier to stack your verve. All right, we need tails. Mild spoilers. I don't even know if this even matters anymore. We are going to be getting more parry frames later on. This is not even close to our final parry form. Equipment. Yeah, I mean, it's right here. Here, let me just show you. Let me show all of you. Pants are different. Chest is different. Coke sponsor? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you guys. I got um I got a package of Coca-Cola last week. And half the cans of them were real messed up. And I emailed I emailed the Coca I emailed the Coca-Cola Corporation. I'm like, yo, I love your Coca-Cola product, but I got some cans the other day and they were real messed up. And they sent me this form and I, like it wants all this information. And I'm gonna be like, I ain't no snitch because I think someone's going to get in trouble. So, I'm just going to deal with my messed up cans. I couldn't see it. God damn it. I just die. 
to give me a Twitch link? I don't, you don't understand. I go out of my way to explain to people that I am not an internet clown. I don't, I don't go around talking about it. If somebody asks me, I gotta tell them I do something. I can't tell them I'm just some layabout. But I'm not like, oh, you don't know? I mean, D-list liberty for uh, a semi-popular genre, niche genre on twitch.tv. And they're like, I don't understand any of those words. Can you fix my cable? That's what they want to know. Like Fortnite? Do you play Rust? Do you play Fortnite? That's what my uh, nephew wanted to know. No. So I got that parry, but I took the damage anyways. I did tell him I, I got paid to go to Doritos Island, and you know, he didn't even care. Never been so insulted before in my life. However, in the world champ, that's not true. I got fourth. That was the auto parry. I keep missing, man. <laughs> this is sad, dude. NA is better than world? There's... That is not true. They can't even, like... They couldn't even get enough people to fill the slots in NA. No, I, I've done, I've skipped cycles before with a hammer, but I feel like a, a weapon that requires a lot of constant aggression. Like, the umbrella is just going to suffer a little bit. There's just a, a better... A more active community, unlucky. You know, it doesn't help that one of the larger speedrunning communities in the U.S. is mostly filled with, like, semi-psychopaths. I'm not, I'm not gonna join Bleach Japan, man. Yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, I'm still uh, acquaintances with the arena type attack only guy a little bit. He was streaming Apex yesterday. That got the auto parry out. Oh!
I don't think I hit either. <laughs> it waddles up to you and then it explodes. Do I gotta be careful here? I mean, when it's an obvious attack, I do get the parry off. And this isn't even my full form. Like, we could definitely get even more parries going on. Yeah, the... I'm almost less worried about having parry frames and more worried about just, like, all my spin gauge going away. But maybe I shouldn't be building for this monster. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to build for him. This just feels like so much more effort than just using a hammer. I'm sure Element's also really good on it, too. I mean, technically, this is Element. The hammer does so much damage that you can straight up skip fights or um, stages. Is he not done yet? Seriously? <laughs> I know that was, I knew that was cut. Okay. That's enough learning. I'm <laughs> gonna have to switch to the hammer. Oh, we're not gonna trip, not anymore.
Is this it? Why do I got two of them? My brown's gone. Look. We're gonna we're gonna get there. I just I don't I don't know that even like on a good day if Umbrella's that preferable for this dude. Even with like the best element and the best phase compared to what Hammer does. Well, you get really, really big openings on him with the harpoon. And we're probably going to skip winter now as a result. You'll still see Winter, but he might immediately leave it. It's just hard. It's just hard to compete with that. How do you compete with that? He's immediately leaving. Do I like this kimono? Of all of the large, large monster fights I've ever done before, he's one of the better ones, I guess. He's better than Lao. He actually fights and you have to fight back. Come on, no! No, I don't. I would never shake the hand of a bow user. Dirty. Keep the knife. Filthy. I reverted all your bows. Am I proud of you? I am actually. That's how I know you're a real gamer. I hate you then? If all you do is play bow in this game? Yeah, hate's a word. Fishman wants to use the bow. Don't listen to him. He will lead you astray.
essentially one cycle in the last phase to both break the tail and get the kill. Good morning? What time zone are you in? Do it with the umbrella? I still got some work to do with that umbrella, man. Southeast Asia? Hell yeah, man. I'll be in Japan, East Asia? This game's still fun on PC. We're we're in the twilight streams of this game. We're finishing up a couple builds. I'm not going to be doing four man. I guess it'd be three man nonstop discord call kimono farming, but you know, we're, we're going to do a little, we're going to try and finish up as much of it as we can before. Well, long comes out on Friday. Said, but was fun. My power blacked out. You know what you did. Don't act surprised. Just two maul, just three maulers. Sounds scary. It's my favorite weapon so far. I really like the lance. Switch axe is pretty good too. Problem is, is when I try to run the game at 30 FPS on my micro PC, is it it still like slows down. Like I'm noticeably slower. Like whatever the hell that bug is. I don't know what's going on, but it's not great. They need to implement FSR and they need to fix whatever that CPU bug is. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. Class has already been moved to uh, Zoom. I don't know if that makes it a good day. I'm not really a big fan of Zoom learning. I tried. I feel bad for all the kids that had to deal with that. Stream the call. I am not gonna do that. Reviews for a game you're looking forward to? What game is that? Final Fantasy 16? Oh, seriously?
fine. I'll suck you. We're very lucky we'll land this. We were. Get him. Peacock was annoying to farm? I thought Ember Plume was kind of easy. How do I feel about uh, Kimono Fling in this? Um, I wish it wasn't tied to HP thresholds. I wish it was more like time. And yeah, I do wish it was less far. Because unless you're in a group and you're doing like super degenerate, like mega, mega trap spam, they're always going to run away. Did they patch the game? Oh. Might be my stream quality got better for some reason. Remember when we got the AoEs? If you dodge the AoEs, it's like a ton of opportunity to attack them. gonna enrage unless I get him right away doesn't matter enrage <laughs> anyways is he running again there's no way This is a little dangerous. Feels bad. I frame that. Sure did. A slide, it's not that impressive. Oh, <laughs> that's hunting a man. Oh, we're doing great. Uh, we're trying to um, put together a uh, umbrella set. After that, we'll make cannon, I guess. And then we'll probably be kind of done, unless I want to spend some time making elemental weapons, which is... Any feelings of weapons now that the game's been out for a while? They haven't really changed all that much. Hammer with the ability that increases your damage with tighter timings feels better. How much parry increase window am I adding? It's going to be like 100. <laughs> it's going to be like 100%. It's going to be a lot. Did I ever make an umbrella? We just fought with an umbrella. Literally in the last fight. We didn't finish the fight, but we started with Umbrella. I think it says the potential arrival Monster Hunter. If the next Monster Hunter goes down the path of doubling down on the stuff that Monster Hunter Rise added, which is not going to, but in some theoretical universe where it did,
You running again or are you actually attacking? Scary. He didn't say go, man. Oh, he might say it after this. Go, oh, man. I mean, you know, if it were not for the portable team, we would have never gotten Freedom Unite control scheme. We would have had super combos and analog attacks forever. <laughs> We would have never gotten really good subspecies and the framework for every weapon ever because of the changes that were in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Seamless? I think you got it right the first time. It's pretty good. The, the ability to make your own little dragon katakuri is kind of fun, I guess. It's not bad. This network error? EA Play? Those are bad. I mean, Freedom Unite and Monster Hunter Portable 3rd were like refinements of existing systems. Whatever the hell Generations was is like some sort of fever dream made for like children. We're going to keep Sublime Dance. Need four Ice Tusks? Oh. Max number camp save at a time? Five? Maybe six once everything's maxed out. Why don't we, um... Why don't we try the... Umbrella against the pig and see how it goes. Is there a log to see how much monster you hunted? Yeah. See, so yeah, I've killed 18 Rage Tails. Uh, I will have to kill at most four pigs. Pig is gonna body slam him? No way. I'm gonna I'm gonna iframe that. I'm gonna parry it. Was Retalis my favorite kimono? <laughs> I definitely like the Retalis. All right, so let's get um, let's get some poison on here. Where is it? This could be better, by the way. Just scrolling up and down a like insanely long list for the skill you want. That's not great. Especially when you pass the thing that you're looking for. There's, there we go. All right, poison wielder. And then we want entanglement. The uh, ice, ice thing is terrible, but maybe entanglement is good. The Entangler.
And then what, just Savage? I don't understand. I have this. I have this. Where's my poison one? There. You can sort it? I mean, you, you, I mean, you can, but it's just like, this is just like really bad. Give it two pages. Hell, give it three pages. It's just so you can see more on screen at the same time. We were having a conversation in the Discord about this last night. It was it was interesting. It was kind of like, I mean, not saying anything new, but we were getting into, like, the things that it appeared like they probably wanted to add to the game and just, like, never did. They didn't have time to finish it. Like, Turf Wars is definitely one. Side quests are also definitely something where something they ran out of time for something. You know, one major voiced character just, like, kind of just goes away. I don't want to give spoilers, but, like, they just kind of leave. <laughs> it's like, you know, Poochie had to go back to his home planet sort of energy. Yeah, left, left for cigarettes and you never see them again. They give you a better ending? I, I don't really have any major issues with the ending. Not many people are going to get that reference. You don't know that. Traversal tools, I think, are fine. Not generous enough, I guess. Oh, he's in the thing. Okay, I should have probably not been all the way in his ass. This isn't looking like a ton of damage, by the way. I don't know if maybe that's a weird hitbox or if that's a skill issue. And now he's gone and I'm able to build it all up again. It might be skill issue, but it might also be like my position was bad and he was hitting behind me. I'm willing to accept either response, I guess.
parry is omnidirectional? I don't think so. Have you ever tried to parry the bear when it shoots you in the back? That was definitely a skill issue. That, he fakes you out, man. That's a major fake out. I mean, yeah, it's good damage, but you know what? So's the hammer. Oh, right. I, I've heard about the that tech for bomb counters. You think I can do it first try? What is it again? A X A. Yo, that's garbage, man. That's some hot garbage right there. That is slander. Not skill issue. My timing was perfect. Okay, that was my problem. That was my problem. Hold on. I don't know what's going on there. We're not going to be here for a while. It's not working. It's the weapon's broken. I don't believe it. You trigger itself and instantly counter. It's like insanely difficult to get your fingers to move that quickly. It is. Get better fingers? I need a little buddy to hold my controller for me. Yeah, 
And stamina is kind of an issue with this weapon. Oh, damn it. Oh, wow, we only got one cart left. That's not slow hands. It's just like... I guess you could have your... Your fingers can be spaced out enough, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But it is... It's like, as soon as you press the X button, you need to start spamming the right trigger. Not slow hands. I can't tell what he's doing. You charging? God damn it. Spam at the perfect moment? No. I I literally mean spam the button. Pretty much the second you can press it is when you want to press it anyways. We're about to get 50% more iframes anyways. <laughs> Once we get up to the the final wolf form. We had more iframes on the celestial dragon upgrade, the previous one. Probably should have just left it there. Where's the parry talisman? It's in a later chapter. I think it's like chapter three, first zone on a tree. It's not really necessary. It's just a little insurance thing. Seems like it goes off like a little bit more than 10% of the time. Maybe it's like 15%. I think we'll take parry boost up there. All right, let's not be a baby. Let's let's try it. Let's try it again. Forty percent is the affinity. Was it forty percent? It might have been forty percent. Forty percent was with twenty percent additional, right? Yep. 
40% plus 20% on crit chain, which will happen pretty often. In theory, I guess you could also use this one, but that's kind of niche. This one, assuming your your damage skills line up properly, should be about as good damage as any other late game raw weapon. Even more so if you've got like particularly good crit skills than your talismans. You know, more chain crit or even like, you know, if you had something that boosted your Crit damage by 6%, that would actually be pretty good. Just L after L. Way, way, way too early. I'm not gonna be a coward, I'm going in. I'm not gonna be a coward. I, it's like the most BM thing ever is like you die in the game and it's like, oh, maybe you don't know how to play. Why don't you little baby go back to the first area and fight the training bear? So insulting, man. Some of his moves, though, like, are seriously, like, kind of weird in terms of, like, the delay that happens on them. Impossible. Gator, hello. You gonna be getting all this snow?
Death avoiding us? Lucky. been 40 to 50 there that's like the perfect temperature 50 is like between 50 and 60 is like perfect not too hot not too cold Yeah, stamina management in this weapon is so interesting because, like, your big damage requires you to, like, whiff a parry, kind of. It's actually kind of an interesting design decision. Where'd you crap out all your red, man? What's going on here? It's not good, though. Are you in the bomb parry? I get it sometimes. So, like, you actually heard the parry go off, and I took the damage anyways. Oh, there's no question. Even at 50% parry boost, this is still harder than almost all of Rise's parries. It could just be the monsters uh, to a certain extent, but it feels a little bit like maybe like the Gunlance Guard Edge. It's closest to that, and even then. Maybe more like base world iframes just evading. Kind of how it feels. And you don't add anything to it. Do I have instinctual parry? I have it on a talisman, yeah. I think his hit, a lot of his attacks just kind of like have a lot of delay to them. You really, you really got to delay it out. Uh, 
I mean, the damage is actually not bad once you're going. But man, I'm going to appreciate it once I've got an even longer window. Do you know if the orange meter matter or is it 360 parry? We can test it. We can test it on the, the thing. I think I did test it and it did feel like it had an orientation. My testing indicates that it is not universal. It's possible the instinctual parry will go 360, but. You'd be happier without that talisman messing me up? Which talisman are we talking about? The instinctual parry? I don't understand. I feel like that's a little contradictory what you just said. It's extra damage even if you get your parry off sometimes. What? Instinctual parry does not. I don't think it's been messing me up at all. It's just there to. You screw up, I think. You still take the damage even if you parry. Well, that makes a lot of sense. All right, I agree with you. I'm going to take it off. That thing sucks. Oh, that does look like that was 360. Maybe as long as your umbrella touches it. What does that look like to you? Doing a backwards parry seems um, almost good. Download Steam games. It's Tuesday. It's Monday, isn't it? Steam should be up. I think you can direct where you attack. You can go in any direction. One fang, huh? Get out of here. Maybe we'll put a lunge bolster. I did not know I had that. Now, hold on. This can actually be a little sneaky. Believe it or not. Oh, actually, is this still... Will this always be piercing? So that was 11 per hit. It's a 2% chance to inflict poison. And I don't know how the poison scaling works, but even with one talisman on something weak, I should be able to hit it. damage myself.
Well, I'm going to assume that it's a total damage increase. I just, like, I don't know if Verve is screwing stuff up because I'm not always at 100%. Thanks for the hunting stream. I mean, we've been streaming the game quite a bit. How's the game out for? Two two weeks? I've been streaming it almost every day. But you're welcome. I appreciate the tip about instinct parry being the reason why we'd take damage. I'd rather just take the hit. If I if I didn't land the parry. Just hit me. Well, it seems strange because, like, like, didn't I land that parry? And, like, I'm taking damage anyways. And, now, like, maybe I didn't land the parry. Maybe that's the problem, you know? You, man. Eating food before hunting is not worth it. I just didn't think I was going to need it. Damn it. What does Umbrella rank for me? I haven't really played with the Umbrella at all. Today's my first day using it. First day really using it. I guess somebody was worried I'll slam some uh, eggplants down my face. Wait, where is he? Oh, Jesus Christ. Auto thread recovery one? Should be. I I really enjoy auto thread recovery. It's not a lot, but compared to the alternatives, there's really not, not much else I'd rather be using. One every 20 seconds is the rate of recharge. And I believe it stacks during the Celestial Dragon fight.
Oh, an umbrella. In theory, you shouldn't need a earplugs, right? But even even on the things that don't have any earplugs. Other cool human skills? They're like almost all like multiplayer focused skills. Verve is one. You got full health, you get bonus defense and damage. That, that's something I use a lot. There's a kimono path. Uh, forget what it's called. Vengeance that reduces your defense and increases your attack. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't. You uh, you don't utilize the gauge in any way. You just have to build it up, and then it's it's built up. It goes away on its own if you stop attacking, and it goes away very rapidly if you stow the weapon. Busley's rail up. We excited to play wall log? I'm excited. I'm excited to try and find a build around the staff. I really love the sound effects on that staff. The amount of path sounds more interesting? I mean, a little bit. You know, you get uh, stamina regen on running. You get earplugs. You get vengeance. But there's really not much on either end. You could either get a little Bob the Builder thing or you get earplugs and a little help with your stamina regen and that's kind of it. <laughs> An attempt was made. You ever play Ninja Gaiden? We uh, streamed a little bit of Ninja Gaiden earlier this year. So I was trying to find something else to play other than Rise. Wasn't that popular though. Too much of a boomer game, I think. Unfortunately. Ooh. Didn't matter. Is he running? I'm dead. Probably. I just kept trying to parry all of them and I got none of them.
I, I got to give everyone a McDonald's update. I did get McDonald's for dinner tonight. And can I just say they changed the name of the premium? It might have been the deluxe crispy chicken sandwich. Does anyone know what the new name is? I kind of love it. I kind of love the new name. It's very possible this is like on TV. Nope, not Royale with chicken. <laughs> Although I like it. I did put American cheese on mine. But I, I, I waited till I got home to put the American cheese on because I had cheese at home. Uh, close straight bubber. You, 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 you misspelled it a little bit. The Mick Crispy. The Reddit burger, McCrispy. I like it. Can I get onto your ass? Well, not a perfect run by any stretch of imagination, but we are about to get 50% more iframes. So, not exactly 50% more, but more. <laughs> the McChris Pratt. I think we needed the fangs. Is the pile driver worth it when you break apart? Oh, I almost never use it. Not because it's good or bad, but I just never think to use it. What do you think? What's your have you done any testing? I should probably do testing at some point. I mean it's probably worth it. If you just have everyone goblin onto the monster at the start of a match and just all drop pile drivers, it'll probably do something. Uh, that's a hundred percent extra parry. Let's see how generous this feels. I mean, I guess it makes sense to drop one before you do the suck, right? It's not like it's that expensive. What am I farming for? Well, you just saw it. It's a shame the servers are dead. Because I kind of would like to do this in multiplayer. I don't know. Maybe it would be bad to use it in multiplayer. You're playing online? It, well, I keep getting server errors. Let's catch up again soon.
Actually, I want to see its base damage. Seems okay. How many attacks have parry iframes? I don't think so. Well, it's still not e like it's still like it's better, but it's not free. Can't crit on it? You sure? You need parry for Wagasa? I mean, if you never want to parry. I mean, if, if I'm gonna use the weapon, I wanna parry with it. Is that weird? I mean, I guess if you just wanna spam the, yeah, I, I agree. You could definitely build it for no parries. Whatever, build up all those skills that make it easier to build up the parry. And then ignore the parry frames. That seems like, it just seems weird to me though. I don't know, I mean, I guess maybe it's not weird. Maybe people don't want to parry. It's fine, their choice, their weapon. An attempt was made. Multiple attempts were made. All failures. It's okay. I mean, it wasn't a one round clear like Hammer would have gotten. <laughs> but I mean, it's neat. We broke a lot of stuff. Oh, did he kill all my fish? That sucks. He's kind of hauling ass, isn't he? This is the other one, right?
I don't even know how good those parry attacks are. That was weird. I parried and I took the damage anyways. Oh, I'm dead. Well, maybe not. Well, probably dead. <laughs> that would never happen with a hammer. Those grabs are scary. I wonder if you could parry the grabs or what if you can't parry the grabs? No, nah, I took the auto parry off. Isn't that weird? Maybe it was a multi-hit. It didn't feel like there's many multi-hits in the game though. That's a good question. That is that is strange that even without the auto parry, you could parry and still take damage. Does the grab count? Has entanglement? I don't, I don't know. Way too early. You can, uh, you can unsheath to a parry. That did not work. There we go. That worked. No, please! Please don't! Please! Did he just destroy my trap? It's like such a high effort weapon. And it's like the results are good. Like the damage is definitely good, but it's kind of a messed up weapon just because of like the risk versus reward doesn't feel like it's there. And it like, I guess it should be there. Make a cannon? We're gonna be working on the cannon next, actually. Fire cannon's actually done a lot of uh, headway into figuring out how that's gonna look. He's already run. Why are you running? Oh, 
I mean, in terms of parries, we have given ourselves <laughs> almost every advantage possible. We've got double the parry frames on this weapon, so. It does make it a lot easier. I mean, that was pretty cool, I guess. I would have been expecting to see more statuses pop up. You know, we've, we've got an okay amount of poison on here. Maybe they're just dying too quickly. Satisfying to watch? Thank you. Well, the other one, I mean, we died once, so don't give me too much credit. You did grab us, though. It was dirty. The, the real trick is to do a fusionless fight against like one of these guys that's the ultimate let's just do we're going to die but let's let's just do one one attempt against this guy cuz I, I would like to get started on Theory crafting out a cannon. Can I have a small loan of $100,000? That's a lot of money. This game doesn't give you money for anything. I don't know if you met in-game or in real life, by the way. <laughs> Made your weapon a few times? Okay. In-game. I've had people in my life who, after I helped them get a loan at the credit union, were like, can you give me a loan? And I'm like, bro, I'm not the bank. <laughs> Just attack twice. It does attack twice. Okay. I'm dead.
Release the Octopath 2 <laughs> review. It's my job. I, I don't even want to get past chapter one, man. I guess I can always just mainline it. What the fuck? I screwed myself up. I was setting something up and he hit me into like the little Dorito wedge and I ran into another spike. Now I want to fight it again. God, I'm screwed up. I got such a broken brain, man. I've got like four hours of footage and it's like two characters, chapter one prologues. That's like pathetic squealing streamer. Awful. Miss doing goblin hours of my stream? When I'm in Japan, you might get an opportunity to do goblin hours. What the, f why, why was that? Why was that a thing? That's crap. You know it's crap. That's crap. You know it's crap. Well, it sure does generate a lot of red. Hold on, hold on. My, my brain stopped working. God damn it. <laughs> I just like, I for one second, I was just like a glitched out NPC as I was trying to remember how to create the harpoon. I was like, go, 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 go. Some overclocked memory error glitched out. The red monster quests are one faint, yeah. I swear I did that right. I swear I am correct. I mean, the quests are great because you could solo them if you're really good. Or if you're not good, you could do it in a group. Game doesn't judge.
Redemption is hardest to solo? Well, I've never actually soloed the wolf. So technically that one. But I think that the hedgehog might be one of the worst. Man, trying to parry the wolf does not sound fun. No, my things. <laughs> no, <laughs> my little construction. I should really be making like cannons and stuff. How do I do how do I make cannons and traps? Would it be something like No, I need those. This? Oh, it's such a bait move. Does this have the healing thing too? The, the healing thing. I should just be using that instead of healing normally. It's got the incense burner. Healing vaporizer. X-A-X. -X. It does. That's going to be actually really, really useful for the umbrella. Because, like, you don't, you don't really want to be chugging. What is it? A X A A X A.
Well, this is made from a, an ice monster, so it makes sense that they're similar. Ah, just a little too slow there. No! Ah, oh, damn it! Does this game have speedrun potential? Um, it's definitely possible. Oh, I mean, like, real speedruns or, like, time attacks? I mean, time attacks are just going to be kind of broken, but, like, full game speedruns? It could be interesting. You're going to be very limited. Your routing would be very tight. I've already done a little bit of routing. Probably no fusions for TAs. Yeah. Yeah, fusions should probably be banned. Over or under six hours? Probably over six hours, at least to start. The final time? Who is? Who knows? Unpretentious, thank you. It does such, like, baby damage. Like, until you're charged up, it's so sad. Menuing would be a nightmare? I would be that bad. That's not the worst part. Planning all the dragon fusions would be a lot of fun. There'd actually be a, a lot of room for optimization in general. You okay? There's that poison we were wondering about.
God damn it. Oh, you can't miss those ever. Well, we got to the enraged form, so that's not too bad. That was something. It's definitely, like, mega stylish. Trying to get a run cleared like this. Doing a uh, TA of this would be amazing with the umbrella. I don't know if there's that many people doing TAs. Everybody's working on their zero second clears. You ain't claw blade? I don't love it. What I played of it, it felt a little brain dead. If I'm missing something, please tell me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I couldn't, I couldn't see anything. All right, let's, let's get to work on that cannon. I mean, that was, I'm the one that got him in that corner. That wasn't him. That was me. So like, I can't blame him. He's just following me. I feel like speed, what are they? Um, speed deployment and speed heat would both be good skills to have. Outside of that. Like maybe the tiger is the way to go. I feel like for Raw, this is the one to go for. Like, I know Inversion Attack is kind of a dead skill, but Speed Heat and High Spirits both seem pretty good. Everything else is like volley, but that doesn't seem amazing. There's some pretty good looking elemental ones. But if you just had to go for one, I guess you'd go for that. And so if we had to put something on that. There's speed heat right there. Speed charge. One. Two. Is 
that three? Four? Go up this way and then go back down this way. I could do that. We could hang out here for a little bit while we built everything else up if we wanted to practice. So go down here. I think we got to go down this way, yeah. I need a spine glider. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the claw blade. It just feels like playing a screensaver. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, but it felt like you don't have a ton of control. Like you jump. I mean, you don't have to play this way, but jump off three boxes, hit them with the claw, zoom me in with the X and then press Y at the end of your combo. It just feels like you're using so little of the kit. Like there's grounded combos. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I'm aware there's grounded combos, but it just didn't feel... Just didn't feel good. I'm going to be able to make another camp. I can make another camp. That's amazing. I don't know where I want to make it. But we're going to be able to get one, two, three, four. Oh, five camps? Yeah, that should be no problem. We should have had five camps to begin with. Did I get him? I'm trying to get my counters off. He keeps attacking Sukomo. in the ass. Oh God. I'm gonna get Doctor Strange powers so I can reverse time. So nobody ever sees that. He's not a two, he's a mighty monster. I was trying not to heal, okay?
I just go all the way up there, almost? I didn't want that. Actually, they're not bad for movement. I'm running. I will find you. I will get you. Monsters do be running. 100% they're running. A lot. <laughs> Sub six on the Volatile Ripclaw? Is that the really mean one? Or is that the normal, just normally mean one? Excuse, excuse me? That was the other... Why did I even say that? Someone said something... <laughs> mildly annoying and I told them I was going to break through their living room window and chew their face off. <sighs> I don't know why I would say that. <laughs> why would you say something like that? Miss. That's weird. That's a multi hit. He doesn't even scream to run away. He just runs. He just runs away. <laughs>
We're getting a little bit better with our parries. This is my umbrella's final form? I think I'm done with it. I don't know what just happened. Something bad happened. again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there'd be any other upgrades I'd want to make. again. Hunter of Reason, thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully we got our spine glider thing. I don't know, how do you think the cannon is to watch? I guess if you're good at like bouncing things off of things heads, it could be interesting to watch. To me, as long as it's not bow and as long as it's not the claw blades, I feel like it's an interesting weapon. And like, I'm not hating on the claw blades. It's just, I just don't think there's like a lot of like strategic decision making there. Motion sickness? I mean, it's no base world shield slam sword and shield, but it's pretty wild. <laughs> the camera is actually like a little bit better in this game in that regard. So what was I going to do? We're going to go down this way. Something like that. The game will send you to the moon. Cool. More ivory. Man, this game, you gotta fight so many of this dude. It's actually kind of like mega unreasonable how much you gotta fight this guy. Like what, like why? Why do I have to keep fighting the tusk? Like, why do I need so many? It's always like you need five of his ivories. Like I'm, like one side, like, all right, they give you, how many have I killed so far? It has to be like 20. It's gotta be getting close to 20.
18. Yeah, pretty close. I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, that's not, like, necessarily a ton. But it feels like a lot. How's this game compared to Monster Hunter? Uh, I made a review video on my YouTube channel. If you want to get, like, some very in-depth considerations. It's okay. If you watch it and have other questions, that's... Almost evaded it. Show us the best bow build. That like doesn't even mean anything. Any bow. Are you serious right now, Noxella? Do you? I mean, are you? Are you playing bow? Best cannon build. I'm working on that. Ask any question. I was. I wasn't talking. To you. I was talking to the other guy. Series X is jank? Felt okay when I played the trial. Didn't feel that bad. Please, please regenerate in time. any question you want, but if it's about the bow, I'm probably not going to answer it. That's the difference. Update the armor chat seal. For what, this game? There's two sets. Maybe three. All that work and I didn't even break the tusks. Aerial spin? <laughs> using one block it wasn't even it was a little spin i was canceling it was more to cancel the move than anything else so how dare you and how dare you riozo would be doing that riozo's probably doing that right now he's probably playing this game in his off time he's spamming the hammer slam It's not really much better damage than normal. The only thing that's good about it is that it cancels your animation. Any katana hunts? I've got a water katana. AKA a mistake. <laughs> it's not, un I mean, it's unlucky that we're fighting uh, the Taz. No, I, I, I must have done something because the fire katana doesn't, it's not like there anymore. Oh, 
I don't know what happened to it, man. I don't know. Don't look at don't look at me. I don't know what happened to it. It was my best one? That's what we used on the tiger, I think. <laughs> that took 45 minutes. I've got no regrets. None. The bug on the Kukaracha staff is actually kind of insane. Like, I can't believe it's, like, actually a thing. No, 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 no. It's, I've got all these redundancies. I got all these redundancies. I'm like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. I'm ready for any situation. Don't worry about it. It's a very outdated boomer reference. You know, solo play is actually like way easier with the Kukaracha staff because you got your kimono guy giving you stuff. Did he not, did, did it not just say he dropped red? Where is it? Did I just cancel my attack into nothing? Or did it run out? <laughs> I don't think it ran out.
and I can't. Oh, I could do this. He's just so fast. Like, I feel like they stealth buffed them, so, like, they all run faster now. I almost do. I, I almost do want to just, like, zipline everything. I once had one ice... So, you know how we said there's no turf wars? I once had an ice tusk find a normal king tusk on the map just to run all over to him, have them turf war, and then run all the way back. And it was like five minutes one way. <laughs> he lost, too. He went in a fight, and then he lost. And it was in multiplayer, and so everything was, like, in slow-mo. <laughs> everything was, like, 50% slow-mo. It was seriously, like, it took 20 real minutes in order to beat this one, uh, ivory, just frost tusk. Like, I swear you need part breaker. Or you need to land everything on the tusks in order to break the tusks. I'll tell you, the umbrella actually is a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do umbrella next. Hammer is by far the easiest. Bo, get out of here. Stop. Vertical shots only. I actually, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? This is where you get rid of the stuff that you don't want, right? I mean, some of this stuff I wouldn't mind, I guess. Only power shots, none of the rapid fire shots. Oh, that doesn't seem like that would do very good damage, though. I got four fish. Oh, no, no, we got fish over here.
I guess the only thing that annoys me is it feels like you're constantly fighting this guy. I, I guess I should probably switch back to the thing that would allow me to make bombs, right? I do got a bunch of movement stuff on the map now, at least. Hold on, there's gotta be a green thing I can upgrade. Oh, this is a nightmare. I got up to yellow quickly enough. Surprisingly tough to hit compared to just going after his tail. His head does get way better later on. Pig versus Umbrella? Pig wins for the most part. Even with a, literally 100% iframes. He still wins. I mean, you just can't, you can't get emotionally attached to the gauge. It's just not, you're just not meant to keep it. Not forever. There, there are certain things that make it a little bit better. The springs actually kind of give you a decent amount of it.
He's just so good at psyching you out. Shorter kill times? During progression, the hunts are definitely longer. But I would agree with you at endgame. Yeah, the, the hunts are kind of short. I don't know, unless you're fighting like the really big guys. I think that's entanglement. This bird has got to leave me alone. Yeah, I, I agree. The, the running... The running can be tough. I don't know what he, what is he doing? probably spent almost an equal amount of time fighting him as he did running. He was trying to, he was like, I'm a tree. Don't attack me. <laughs> Seeing a headline here. Murderers in America have a 50% chance of getting away with it. Huh. That's terrifying. Although U.S. police have solved more murders than in any year since 1997 because of the increasing number of homicides, the clearance rate has declined to 50%. So it's not that police are getting worse, it's that there's more murder. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't like the increased murder. Do we have the tusks yet? Yes. Death Stalker. This statistic only takes homicides that the police acknowledge into account. Well, that is awesome. Okay, fa fa fair, I guess? Oh, hello, we, we're, we're good. We're good. Need the wolf. More murder per capita or overall? Oh, I yeah, that's a good distinction. Um, I would say it's, I mean, based on the way it's written, it would have to be more murder per capita. I think more people are murdering. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. 
Nobody clipped that. I'm not laughing at murder. That's it's sad. That's very distressing. How's my day been? Excellent. Thank you for asking. How's your day been? Have I vibed today? I've, 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 I've been vibing a little. I've, I've seen some vibes going down and I like it. Oh, I got the first part. Murder suspect escaped from the courthouse? That sounds bad. How'd they escape? Just like walked out? You say through the main door, but like that's very possible. <laughs> oh, and you just eat dirt. It's so bad. Oh, he's running anyways. Ow! <laughs> this bird. They put schools on lockdown. Now, to be fair... It was just a murder suspect. Maybe they were innocent. Maybe they're like, you know, Shawshank Redemption. They're trying to get out of there. Maybe for stomping attacks, pairing midair could help. Why midair? What's the difference between midair and the ground? I didn't have any stamina. I mean, the time if my timing were good, it wouldn't matter where I was. Would I escape if I were innocent? Depends on the circumstances. If I was innocent, but it, like, I was in a really bad way. I don't know, maybe. Maybe you get out of town. Start a new life. I hope I get like a stagger. That's my least favorite attack. Cause it looks a lot like some of his other attacks. But it's so much worse. Pile driver chess? I don't really want to do it right now. I'll do it at some point. Those little rat guys are actually kind of messing with us real bad.
Look at him. Look at him. You know he wants to start some... Well, there goes that. An attempt was made and then immediately failed. I don't mind that they switch areas, but, like, why do they gotta go so far? And even if they're gonna go far, like, why do you have it take so long? Just have them, like, rocket jump over there or whatever. Do, like, a Mario jump across the map, like a Rajang would do or something. Skill that negates knockback from the small monsters. There, There is, depending on the weapon. Stand tall would technically do it. I mean, it's fun. That was definitely an enjoyable fight. This weapon would be really good with Element on it. We just got photobombed by an enormous cock. Like, it would definitely be worth making Element in all these umbrellas. I don't know. If... We should take a look at We should take a look at the fire one. The fire option. See if maybe there's one there. I know the Earth has really good counter frames. Not, I don't love it. I don't love that either. Like, I'd rather just have Entangler. Even though I, I, I've not told, seen zero difference when something is entangled. Fire's been the best one so far. Because the things, like, tweak out. Oh, it's so weak.
Bacala, thank you. I mean, Heavenly Dance is good. Fogfall could be okay. I'm not sure that there's many flying monsters that are weak to fire. I guess Amatsu. 10% Verve is okay. How's Lance going? It's going okay. Honestly, the um the the water one is pretty good. So we could go water, fire, and earth. Those would all be okay. That would cover almost everything. I mean, every there's gotta be everything in the game that's either weak to water, fire, or earth. At least three stars, right? Fire, 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 fire. I guess water is three star on Grit Dog. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Water, fire, fire. All right, Gold Shard. But Gold Shard's kind of a dick anyways. You wish it was a better Dust Stalker weapon? Dust Stalker's got great stuff. What are you talking about? Rock is the stuff that sucks. They let him be unshockled and changed into street clothes? That was a mistake. Earth. Fire. Water. Fire. Kind of water. Earth. Fire. I mean, all of them. Fire. Water. Water and earth. Fire and earth. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know that you need all those. But it pretty much does take care of everything. Mm -hmm. Or you just stick with raw. Which I don't, you know. Speed heat. Going down here, right? Is that everything? All right. How good is the Deathstalker Mall? I mean, this guy's got my favorite one, but for like water? I mean, Critical Chain is a good skill in general. Ice Wielder seems kind of bad. If I were to go for any water one, uh, I would go for uh, Ice Tusk because, like, it's got tunnel vision. Although you could definitely make a build around this Ice Stalker weapon. But even still, Tunnel Vision might end up being better. Wow, that's a huge upgrade. They really don't want you to have Flame Wielder. Do I make all his weapons worth it? I mean, it depends on the hunt, whether or not one stroke critical would ever come up or not. But I mean, this isn't, this isn't bad. It's just like, Tunnel Vision just is like better. It's a better, better ability. I mean, crit chain isn't terrible, but you'd have to carry down some other crit skill on it for it to be okay. This earth one isn't that bad. Extended wrap 15% is okay. I think we just need money. Money. 
More murders. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I could put this on the uh, OBS. We can change the auto speech. You can change how quickly it speaks. It just looks like the police are being overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the amount of murder. But you know, that doesn't explain the 1990s. We were able to get a lot of those murders solved. They're lagging behind. You know, it should be easier than ever to catch murderers. But you know, like, 60 to 70% of them are have their cell phones on them. You don't see me solving any murders? Like, I'm not a true crime watcher, all right? Ask Jen. She's into that sort of stuff. Get her on the case? She might be able to solve a couple. Why am I looking at murder rates? It, was just, it just popped up on my screen. It said <laughs> police are solving less murders. That's all. I always go here because I think I could sell here, but I can't. You can be Columbo's wife for Jen. I don't know that Columbo's wife is real, man. I think he might have made her up. You, what would you like to sell me? I was watching a good amount of Columbo the other day, and it was becoming increasingly apparent that he's kind of a lonely old man. I'm not real either. Or why I'm some sort of an AI creation? You might be right. All right, so I haven't played around with the cannon too much. I played around with it a little bit. And we wanted what? This line, right? Speed charge? Speed heat? Better like Anchor if I'm going Cannon? I make no promises. I don't know if I need that skill or not. I can actually upgrade into it pretty well. I feel like anything an AI chef would say, I have probably said worse. Excuse me? No, I feel about that. How's Cannon at um building up thread? I bet it's probably pretty good. I don't think I've got any other cannon skills, so we're just going to go for... Oh, actually, well, we, we could search for volley. Maybe we do have an extra one. We don't. Is that all the verve I have?
So yeah, no, I don't normally enjoy the Yanker, but if it's really, really good, I mean, what are you supposed to do? That's a lot of heat. <laughs> what is... Well, that was a lot of damage. You don't even need to like... Oh, did I screw up? I think I screwed up. You don't even need to hit the monster in order to get your heat up. I think I'm, I think I'm too good. I think I'm too good at getting the heat. It's like two hits and then, and then chill. I mean, it's really not even that bad a damage. I'm going to test it on... I want to test it on like a rat or something. Something easier. Test it on this chicken. Rip claw. Helicopter for positioning. I feel like with the anchor, you don't even need the helicopter. I just hate the helicopter's things. They're just awful. They don't have any good Katakuri. I guess you've got repeating ballista. No, 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 no! <laughs> Was he up there? Uh... I mean, the, the glider is pretty nice um, maneuverability. I mean, it's got that going for it. It's very consistent, very safe. I'm like sundown and real hard right now. I know what I need to do.
I don't know how long this thing lasts. Y Y D Y Y D. Oh, I got it. So the only thing I don't understand is like, how does, like if I, as long as I absorb it, how long does it stick around for? Like once you do the suck, does it stick around forever until you use it? It's like one of the few weapons that gets punished for fast traveling then, huh? Some weapons you can keep stuff like, if you die <laughs> and respawn, you get to keep it. That's funny. Well, he really, he really had it out for me. Can't tell if it's a lot of damage or not. I feel like it probably is. I feel like I'm like ignoring like mechanics. How do I shoot my key base? Oh, I got to do this. Like that does good damage. Like unreasonably good damage. Shadows, thank you very much. I guess what I'm trying to figure out is like unsheathing what counts. I mean, the, the laser is definitely a little situational. But if you just keep going for it. Oh! Don't, please. No, please. No, you don't have to do this. Does dying count as fast traveling? <laughs> yeah.
Yes. Yes. No, he crapped an egg on me. I know. I saw it. Screwed up. It's actually the first time I screwed up, really. Wait, no, I wanted to shoot it. And I didn't have my full... Somehow I'm doing worse later in the fight. And now he's running. You would. That's a tricky weapon. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, the anchors are good, but also, like, incredibly bad. I'm not sure if I love this playstyle, but I feel like you got to... Like, you always got to go for the beam eventually. It's just, like, the weapon charges up so easily already. I feel like... I don't know. It's almost like an excessive... I keep forgetting how to push the trigger after that. <laughs> Real CK, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay, we did it. All right, we did it. We did it. No, we're sleeping! So come on, please! Is there a fight to cover our arms once you max the tree? Uh, you get, like, the little medals for doing them. Leave me alone! They might give us something in the future. Now, how come it felt like I had a micro laser? You gotta, you gotta be in the circle. Thank you. Yeah.
So if I could suck that one. okay, right? It's a lot of work. Is there a thing that will allow you to suck faster? Because I feel like I need, like, I'm not, I'm not sucking fast enough. I'm not gumming that pudding quickly enough. You can roll out of it? I mean, I guess that's part of it. I, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm expecting too much out of the weapon for my first hunt. Gotta craft the Gawk Gawk 3000. I mean, the damage seems okay. Like, whenever I hit it with the laser beam, like, it usually falls over. So, like, it's clearly doing good damage. Oh, that didn't use up my suck. Okay, that's good. See, that felt... That felt pretty good. Can I increase the screen shape? I don't know. Even if I could, I don't know that I should with that ability. I'm gonna vomit. I swear to God, I'm gonna vomit. I can't tell if this is a thing or not. I guess to be fair, this was kind of a strong monster, right?
What weapon is the worst finisher? The claw's kind of lame. You just hit them with like a little knife. Now, Umbrella looks pretty good. Okay, I've got a... I've got a bounty? I don't really want to do, but if I finish this bounty, there's a possibility I can do a bounty for dominoes. And I do want to do the dominoes bounty. <laughs> Badly, but I got to do one before I can do the other. Don't leave! You don't even know what it is! I can't do dominoes right now. I got to do them in order. Don't leave! It's another, it's another EA game, actually. We're going to do the dominoes. I can't do the dominoes if you don't stick around for this one. <laughs> no, it's not a sports game. What What is the EA game I play, like, literally all the time whenever I'm sponsored? No, if it launches, no! Okay, it's launching. Just Don't leave! For eight months. Birds leave. We play, how long did I play the game? For four hours? That's an okay amount of time of playing the game. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Oh, it's so nice. I don't have to drive to school tomorrow. Oh, it's so miserable. Groveling, <laughs> sobbing, and crying. <laughs> 